two. In this episode, we're going to be looking at how to create and press advantages with the top lane 1v9 machine joint tank build. So, looking across the at the enemy team, we notice Nasus, Kane, and Ryze. This is practically ideal because their mid top, their top side and jungle combination is really weak early and will be for quite some time. It takes a long time for Nasus and Kane to get on their feet, right? And their mid lane is also not a rumor. So this is going to let us play with extreme confidence and really get those early advantages going. Just making sure there's going to be no early shenanigans with this composition there really shouldn't be. Yep, just some early riffraff here. No real reason not to not face be like super scared about face checking early against champions that are so weak level one. They also have a vein, which is a little bit worrying. Vein is the one champion that this build like cannot really deal with at all. Late game. Doesn't matter how tanky you are if you die in like three silver belt rotations no matter what, you know? Okay, so we're into the lane here. We're just looking to like We are also very weak, so we're basically just chilling until level 3. Just taking what chances we can get to peck at him. Trying not to shove the wave super hard, letting it build up. Just trying to set up a slow push. Okay, we're 2 now. Taking Q here might be better. Just to EQ him, the auto Q this when he goes up for a creep. Also, we also don't have to worry about uh, W W shoving the wave. I started cloth as well, which is probably too safe. Starting longsword is would probably be uh, better into a champion this week early game. Yep, he steps forward. We, we retaliate. Trying not to let him get anything for free. We don't really have to be worried about a gank right now because we have like two and a half waves stacked up. So if Kane tries to do anything to us, we can just like turn and kill him immediately. And Nasus is already like half life. So if they try to like rush me, I can just all hit all in him first and he'll die in like a heartbeat. So this is a hard grief from Kane here. Look at all these minions. Each of these minions does like 8 damage at this point in the game, and they're all hitting him. He took like half his life bar just from creeps alone. And because Nasus was already like on half of his life, he couldn't step forward and challenge me until it was too late. One thing I want to stress here is the ignite timing. If I were to ignite him earlier, he might have decided to flash out before he was uh, doomed to die. So I, l I let these minions keep hitting him. And right when he realizes that he's screwed, you ignite him. Then he realizes he, he dies. He flashes out, wastes his flash, North American flash. Like a watching worlds. Just gives gives me free first blood. At this point, the game's already over. Because their, their entire top side is super weak and slow, and slow to scale up, I can just do whatever the hell I want in this game from this point forward. And you're gonna be seeing me abusing that really hard very shortly. We got doubles too, which I'm sure Nasus appreciates greatly. It's tough for us to do too much under, under to him under the turret yet. So he's gonna TP, he's gonna back and TP now. We need, we need to do the same thing. Back, get our Kindle gem, TP back, start building up that CDR. So every time he goes up for farm, it should be he auto queue every time. I kind of let him get away with murder there. Just like that. And because I've got red on top of that, he's already lost half his life for going up for going, for going up for just one creep. He should just be parked under his turret, like waiting for the wave to shove in. Him going up for the for the wave here in the middle of the wave, middle of the lane like this is just a hard grief. 
I'm just whittling him down under the, under the turret. His lifesteal isn't to the point where he can just sustain through my ease, so they're starting to accumulate over time. When you're, pe when you're pecking at people under the turret like this, I wasn't I don't think I'm doing it like... I don't think I'm aware of what I'm doing, but see how the turret shoots and then has a cooldown time before it can fire again? If you E, Nasus, wait for the turret to shoot and then hit your W and go up and Q him, you can usually use your W movement speed to escape out of the turret's range before it switches targets you and fires. He's already got to make a bad recall here because we've been pecking him so much. Kane's here again. We're not afraid because we're level 6 and they're both level 5. He's just trying to help Nasus get the plus 12 on the cannon creep here. Going up and using your ultimate to scoop him away from the turret there. This is a really effective way to get some free damage on him. Because we, we want to shove him back and make him take a bad recall right now. Oh, pretty recall. Stop it. He should just be backing right now. Like, I'm not going to let him get anywhere close to this wave. Okay, he hit level 6, so he thinks he can do something. He is wrong. The cane is out of mana, or that might have been dangerous. My ignite is up, so just e, e ignite for the kill there. He thinks he can W me and catch up to me for the kill. But he, he would have died just before reaching me. Which is intentional. I knew I, I knew I had just enough space there to work with. He tries to get a wave to lifesteal through the ignite, but no such luck. He's dead, no TP, so we shove in as hard as we can. So, you wouldn't be wrong to recall here, but I wanted to press my advantage even further. Because I've got a full bar fury again. And he will have assumed, he will have his, uh, assumed I've recalled. So, we just ult in. Clean combo. Immediately chunk him back down to one third life. Then we just keep shooting him under the turret, like fish in a barrel. We only have 10% CDR right now, so we can't be, like, super abusive like this, but we're still plenty enough to secure the kill. He steps forward too far, too far, disrespects my E, burns down to the fire patch. Thank you, Riot Games. Let's just get another free plate here. And now we got a big recall. Coffee old Zionian. This poor guy's already dead. Okay, so Nunu miscalculates here and feeds doubles, which is unlucky, but we can work with it. Because very shortly, those doubles are going to become my doubles. I'm nearly level 9 here, so this is the perfect time to go in. For some reason, he, he thinks since he has doubles, he can fight me. He's almost right. My Ignite nearly came off cooldown. Yeah, just... Just Shivana things. It would have been much smarter of me to wait until uh, my Ignite came off cooldown, because he was able to heal a good bit off of his uh, Q lifesteal and his passive. That fight with Nasus wouldn't have looked nearly as close if I had Ignite on him ticking the whole time. But because I, I saw an opportunity to get a two-level advantage on him in, in an all-in, I just took it. And that was just the shortest level 9 in history, isn't it? I'm already level 10. That proxy the wave. Get one plate on the way out the door. We can't do too much to him from this position, so we just reset. This is a massive buy. Now we have the DD. 
And if we weren't strong before... Just wait till we see what we can do now. Oh yeah. I, the Kane didn't have his ulti on that on that uh, gank. If he had, I might have died, but I think I would have been able to waste, uh, have enough time to getting that back up and at least take him with me. What I did here was griefing. Like, I shouldn't have done this. This is really bad. Look at the wave state. It's pushing into me. But there's absolutely no reason for me to for me to do what I just did. I could just like have the wave chill here, force him to come up for farm to stack his Q. And then punish him from there when I have more room to chase him down. But, but, but because I have DD and I've just gone mad with power, I just like run at him and chunk him. Which is 110% the wrong thing to do. That's why I'm Diamond XD. So. Stop his recall. We can still do a lot of damage to him from this position. E him again. Walk up to the wave. Cue the wave for Fury. Gives us just enough for another E. You can start to see how abusive the 40 CDR is. With the E base damage. We've done enough that he's just not com comfortable walking up. I lied. One thing I want to point out here is that at this stage in the game, he stacked his Q to the point where he can just ignore my Q poke or negate most of it or the entirety of it. If this matchup goes, like, even, it can turn, like, really bad for you since you can't generate the three puts to deny him. On he can just, like, cue, cue the wave and, and keep himself permanently topped off. But fortunately, Kane gifted us the free game. I probably should also have let this turret live for a little while longer. But the rest of the map is getting fucked right now, so I kind of want to make sure I get the first turret plate, first turret gold. From here, the, the absolute play is to go to get Rift Herald and then Rift mid. We get even more plates. But I'm low diamond trash, so I didn't think about that. So, that's a cane. He's level 7. We eat those. 100 to 0 in one combo. And from, the, from this stage in the game, like, his entire top side just belongs to me permanently. Like, oh, this is just mine. Use the rest of the ulti to, 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 do as, to do as much damage to Nasus under turret as we can. We don't really have to be afraid of Ryze, who's also having a very bad game. We finally forced three people top lane to deal with us, but Orianna's got us. They couldn't have chased me down. I could have just like walked away, but because she's here, we don't have to. We just continue to push this advantage. Make Nasus spend as much time farming under turret as possible. Cards are mine. That'll give us most of, most of our fury back. And Nasus is so desperate for farm at this point that he's just going to throw his life away here in a second. <laughs> Poor guy. He tilted. And because we have DD, we don't care about turrets. We can just scoop this guy out easily. Solid NA flash. Lulu, like... Nah, that's not even close to being saved. I can just chill under the turret for like 15 seconds. There's no escape. Yep, this entire top side belongs to me. So when you need when you need a uh, fury, Rift Herald is a great place to get it. Like I said earlier, like it would have been much better to take this earlier and use it to crack mid turret, but yeah. Never said it was a perfect game. I just said it was really damn good. Damn, what am I doing? I'm just asleep at the wheel or what? Get a quick back off of that. And we are now essentially Jesus H. Christ. Look how fucking strong we are. Nasus is farming. We don't like that. We didn't say he could do that. For some reason, he's, he's just tilted and doesn't back off when he sees the TP. Yep, these people just aren't a threat to me anymore. I thought I thought he would like keep keep walking in this direction. And I could hit both, but he wants to, he really thinks he, he like really wants to fight me for some reason. Well, we don't have to dive this guy. We can just back out and eat him from range. 
And that's the FF. So, my team kind of smurfed, like, hard smurfed this game, but even if this and this wasn't a blowout, I think I would have been able to 1v9 this game pretty easily. As long as the Vayne didn't have, like, two items at this point. And I'm, I'm almost sad that it was such a stomp, because I wanted to, like, extend this out for further. And get even more, like, fit, like stupid far ahead and fed. But, uh, yeah. The major takeaways from this game... If you see a team come like this in solo queue, you should probably just dodge the game. Like, this is probably... This is almost certainly never going to end well with this much hard scaling on your team. You can't just, like, draft hard scaling and expect people to, like, play patiently and prefer power spikes and play it properly in a, in a disorganized environment. One of these guys should have dodged. So, in review... Uh, don't die face first into, like, 10 caster creeps. Come on. Never Come on. Yep. Like I said, even if this guy had just ran at me, I would just, like, kill him first. Don't fight in the stack waves, number one. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> yep. People just aren't ready for the Ignite, man. So few top laners take it, people just aren't prepared for it. Should have waited for this ignite cooldown. Yeah, th this, this was like nearly bad, but it worked out. But hey, even if Kane has his ultimate and gets the kill there, as long as Nasus doesn't get the shutdown, we're still we're still fine, you know. Because the more time Nasus stays dead, the more time he's not stacking. So trading your life away for Nasus kill is almost always worth it. Because it delays the... The ticking time bomb a lot. And the last thing is... Where's, where's that freeze I ruined? Here it is. Yeah, don't do whatever the hell this is. This is stupid. Like, even if I'm looking to all in him here, I like I can just like, keep the wave here. He has to walk forward for it. He gives me all this room to, to run him down with with my red buff. And uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya.